Today, the U.S. Deputy Secretary of Defense visited Bath Iron Works. This comes as a push from Maine's delegation to reverse President Joe Biden's budget proposal that would cut funding for one of the DDG destroyer ships. New Center Maine's Jackie Mundry takes us to the shipyard. Members of Maine's congressional delegation are still pushing to make sure Bath Ironworks will be part of the Navy shipbuilding future for decades to come. What are you hearing from people who are visiting Bath Ironworks? They like what they're seeing. Among the visitors, Deputy Secretary of Defense Kathleen Hicks, Senator Angus King, and Congressman Jared Golden wanting her and her staff to see how vital BIW is when it comes to national security and job security in Maine. It's one thing to make a decision based upon what you know lines on a on a piece of paper. It's another thing when you come up here and 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 see the see the people firsthand. Congressman Golden says he's worried about the possibility that BAW may end up building just one DDG destroyer a year in the near future instead of the two that the shipyard is currently budgeted for. That, he says, will seriously affect BAW's ability to keep experienced workers. This is a narrow window of time where we have these very experienced shipbuilders here who are soon retiring. To have them working side by side with a young workforce is critically important from an institutional knowledge and experience perspective. The ship has already been added back into the House Appropriations Committee budget. And while Senator King says he'll never bet on Congress, he expects that it will be added to the Senate as well. In Bath, Jackie Mundry, New Center, Maine. Deputy Secretary Hicks is expected to visit the Portsmouth, New Hampshire Naval Shipyard next. Senator Angus King and New Hampshire Senators Maggie Hassan and Jean Shaheen plan to join her.